Hello learners, how are you all? So today we are going to learn about linear regression and we are going to use Orange Data Mining to understand how to perform or how to use the linear regression based on a case study given in your CBSC class 10 AI syllabus. So let's first of all understand the linear regression. We know that linear regression is a part of the supervised learning model of the machine learning concept. So in this session, we first understand the definition of linear regression. Where should we use linear regression and when not to use linear regression. So finally, we are going to be doing the practical work of the case study mentioned in the CBC uh, book on the Orange Data Mining Platform. So the definition of linear regression, as we understand, it is a supervised machine learning model that finds the best straight line to predict the value based on one or more input features. The basic idea is basically it tries to model the relationship between independent variables such as the inputs like temperature, age, income, etc. and the dependent variables. The things that you want to predict like food, price, house, value, etc. Now, if you see the equation, it will look like this. Prediction y is equal to mx plus c, where x is the input value, m is the slope, how much y changes with x, and c is the constant, that is the y-intercept. So, c is basically the default value. The situation can be like, say, for example, if we are trying to draw a prediction or a regression on the salary versus the experience. So the person always starts the work life with zero experience also. So with zero experience, what was his salary? So that particular situation, this is this y-intercept is actually meaning that. So this is the default value, the starting position. So at time where it is basically touching the y-axis. Now, where should we use the linear regression? The linear regression you can use where you want to predict the continuous value. Say, for example, the prices of the food item, the temperature, the effect of temperature, the weight, and the marks on the student's performance and what will be the future income, like that. And your data shows a roughly straight line relationship. Say, for example, when x axis increases, y increases or decreases steadily. So, in these kind of situation where there is a straight line relationship, or you need a quick and interpretable model. Say, for example, it is fast, easy to understand, and gives a formula. Real life examples of linear regressions. Use cases are like core predictive modeling technique is the linear regression. So here it predicts the house prices using various factors. Say for example, forecasting future sales based on historical data, predicting crop yield using environmental factors, predicting student score based on study habits. So these are certain situations or the perfect situations where the linear regressions can be used when not to use the linear regression. Avoid it when the relationship is not linear. That is, you have a curve pattern. Your data has outliers or missing values that can mess up the lines. Or you are trying to classify things, say for example, in the cases of spam, the emails, in the cases of emails where we want to segregate some spam or not spam emails. Now let's see the problem statement. So the problem statement is Kyla is a wildlife animal dietitian manager at the zoo. She takes care of the cost of buying meat and vegetables for animals. With the price of the food increasing rapidly, it will become more ex expensive for the zoo to buy healthy and nutritious food for its animals. Therefore, the zoo accounts team wants to know the increase in the price of food so that they can ask the government for sponsors to fund for the food. 
the scalar requires the help of ai to predict the price so what is the what is the price going to be with the current price in the near future with the amount of food she is using for these animals now for this you need to have the orange data mining software so you will install it when you install the first face of the window it looks like this so let us now go back to the orange data mine software so this is here the application i have already opened it you will find an icon like this in your desktop look at the icon here in the taskbar so as per this icon you will find the application the moment it opens so this is already made so i am going to recreate once more again you will need a data set file so that data set file link i will give in the description everyone you can take it from there and use it it is already given in the cbc handbook also so let us now start and do this same thing so we will do file new and we will open again another new page for the from the orange data mining so first of all these are the widgets as you all know these are the widgets we are going to take the widgets and we are going to simply drag and drop our widgets onto the canvas area and we are going to connect them lines and our models or we can train the data on the various models so all the models are present over here so let us first click on the file it is always the initiating widget in all the workflows so here we will double click and we will select the file where we want to perform the regression model use the regression model so this is my data set file this is the excel file which i am going to open here so in this particular file i have to take the food price index remember it has got number of sheets so you will use indices monthly, uh, monthly nominal sheet and definitely you have to uh, delete the first two heading rows so that you can get the food price index uh, row out there so just check on this and after this you, what you are going to do you are going to bring the data table here so once you are getting the data table just connect it to the data table as the file has been loaded now the data has to be put in the data column now under the transform category you will find the select column so just bring in out here and put it here now connect these two widgets like this after selecting column double click on it and check if the food price index is the target column or not if it is lying over here so please just click on it and drag and drop it over here so these are the two things you have to take care and after this you can just fold it go to the visualize bring in the linear regression not the visualize here in the models we will take the linear regression model and we'll bring in the model over here and we'll try we'll connect it with the um, select columns only yes so we will connect it with the select columns and after that what we will do is we will going to test the test and score we'll bring in the test and score we'll connect this to this and we'll connect the column with the test and score also so here comes the data and here comes the test and score now basically you will see a, a blue line you may see a blue line for this so here it is ignoring the stratific stratification what is the stratification basically stratification is telling that um, the folds which you, they are using the k fold cross validation uh, is uh, basically the orange data mining it used for evaluating its model so it is not doing the stratification so in stratification means it is not maintaining uh, the equal number of folds in every cross validation in every cross validation so we can just uncheck this so this blue mark will go away and after this we will come to the prediction model and we'll connect the prediction model here so once we are connecting the prediction model you will see 
so the linear regression all the values have come up so there is no much difference so whatever the data we have uh, put over here as per our machine learning model it is very much correct and in the fold also so you will see the model is working very well very good it is predicting it correctly so here uh, you will find the difference is very less and it is almost same also so it is a perfect model and here you can see the fold column the date column date column is giving it is in a in a excel serial number so for its human readable form it has to be converted so nothing to worry about it so folds are the level of folds they are giving of the k cross k fold cross validation so that is the method of evaluation which the orange data mining model is using so i hope you have understood this particular activity so there is another activity in the cbsc book which is on the parmer penguin data model data set so that is the island in the antarctica on which you can again perform this orange data mining data model so in our my next video i will be adding up that particular explanation again so till then you people can subscribe my channel and the bell icon as well thank you all of you